our entire life, almost every situation, our daily life is um, dominated by persuasion and influencing other people and also the other way around. So how do you sell yourself? How do you persuade the other person, the recruiter, the HR, the human resources manager? <music> Hey, what's cooking guys? This is Marcel from Slamming It Out and thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming back to my channel. And I'm extremely excited today because this video actually serves as a kind of a teaser video. As you know, as some or even most of you know, I'm not only a professional chef and author, I'm also a personal development junkie. You might have noticed it for all of you who are watching my content regularly, that I not only uh, talk about cooking and uh, chefing and traveling the world and trying different foods and meeting different people. I'm also talking about other stuff like in my previous video series, 11 Life Lessons. So I want to continue with a new mini series. Uh, let's see if this is going to be a mini series uh, or it's uh, going to be a, a larger series. I don't, I don't know yet, but it is a video series which I want to start here and introduce with this video. And uh, this new series is all about persuasion, persuading other people and influen influencing other people. This is one of my favorite topics. I'm I've been interested in interested in for a very long time already since I was like around 15 or 16 years old I was already interested in psychology yeah and I read a lot of books already at this time and um, I always wanted to know what makes people tick yeah what makes them tick how does the human mind actually work and this is very fascinating uh, for me. So besides of cooking in the kitchen and traveling the world, I read a lot of books. I studied a lot about psychology and especially persuasion and influencing other people. So some of you might now say, oh my God, uh, what are you talking about? Influencing other people, isn't that a bad thing? Isn't that, isn't that something dangerous? And uh, I say, yes, it can be very dangerous. Yeah, there's always, two sides to every coin, you know, and uh, what, but, uh, what we want to do, we want to stand on the edge of the coin, you know, we want to be on top of the situation and uh, persuasion and influencing people is very important because simply we are all being persuaded every single day without even knowing it. Or did you know that um, when you watch TV, that you are in a very mild form of trance. Yeah, it's true. You are in a mild form of trance. And this is what TV advertisers, for example, take advantage of. You know, it has something to do with your brain waves. Yeah, I cannot, uh, I will not go into much detail here, but you are in a, in a mild form of trance. And then you watch TV and then the commercial breaks and then uh, they are hitting you with all kinds of advertisements, you know. And did you know that uh, actually the, uh, it works like this, that uh, certain positive images are being uh, associated with the products which are being advertised, which you can see on TV. And these positive images are mainly about uh, sex, babies or little puppies. You know, when you, the next time you watch an ad, Look carefully and watch for these three things, yeah? Sex, puppies, and little babies, because they are very positive images. It has also to do with our human psychology, you know? And so these uh, images are being associated with many of the products. Even these images have nothing to do with the product itself, you know? Uh, we think of uh, 
brand new cars who are being advertised with a sexy woman, you know, or even I think I remember saw, uh, seeing advertisements here in Germany uh, when they a long time ago advertising cigarettes, ad made advertisement for cigarettes and they also uh, had a pretty and a very attractive woman doing the advertising. So this kind of stuff, you know, this is only one example of uh, how we are all being influenced on a daily basis, very subtle. So this whole persuasion and influencing thing is like, uh, it's like an art, you know, it's, it can be very tricky. It's uh, constantly being applied on us, you know, every single day through the, of course, mainstream media, newspapers, TV, internet, you name it. Okay. And my new video series actually want to lift the wheel on these secrets and these secrets techniques and uh, all these, um, yeah, all this knowledge, which is behind the whole thing, you know, because if you are equipped with this knowledge, how persuasion really works. And if you can equip yourself with all these influencing techniques, you know, the, the very good thing is that you are much better prepared, you know, what's going on behind the scenes and what uh, are certain medias and media outlets or especially the marketing also. This is a, a very special and big field, the entire marketing world. Uh, you know, if you know, if you know their secrets, if you know their techniques, you know, you're much better prepared to not get influenced by them to buy certain products which you don't even want right how many times it happened we were we were purchasing some stuff some items which in reality uh, we didn't even need you know we we just didn't know it at the time of the purchase you know but a uh, uh, few days weeks later we we asked ourselves hey why the hell i didn't didn't even, I did even why the heck i even purchase this product. Now this is all has all to do with these uh, secret uh, persuasion techniques and uh, influencing techniques. So my new mini video series is all about um, basically, yeah, um, covering these uh, topics, yeah, lifting the wheel, so to speak. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be uh, multiple parts because I cannot cover everything in one video and I don't want to make these videos also too long. But what I can promise you is that you, if you want to become a better negotiator, for example, if you want to yeah, improve your relationships, if you want to uh, become especially more confident in dealing with other people, and if you want to grow personally like I do, then you definitely don't want to miss these videos which are coming in the next two weeks yeah so there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot for you to look forward to yeah i'm also very excited you know because i had to reread a few books to uh, refresh my knowledge you know there's a lot of stuff uh, which uh, i even have forgotten so that's that was also a, a learning process for me so um yeah if you want to improve all these uh, uh, skills yeah if you want to become a better negotiator and uh, if you want to get the next job you know job interviews is, is one special topic i also will cover here how to sell yourself it's all about persuasion you know getting a job is actually very important especially in these crazy times you know it's not so easy to get a job you know and for, for many, many millions of people, you know, especially very difficult because they just lost their jobs and there are not, not, no, uh, no jobs available, right? And there are some jobs available, but not enough. So there are more applicants, way more applicants than jobs available. So how do you sell yourself? How do you persuade the other person, the recruiter, the HR, the human resources manager? How do you convince that person that they should hire you. This has all to do with persuasion and influencing because you are selling your sales. Sal sales and selling is all about persuasion. Very, very important, you know. Uh, our entire life, almost every situation, our daily life is um, dominated by persuasion and influencing other people and also the other way around, as I mentioned 
already. So, without uh, going into more detail, that's it for this video. So, in my next video next week, I'm going to, to talk about how our minds are actually be, uh, being controlled without even knowing it. You know, so uh, we, we're going to start off a very hot topic already next week. So stick around. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, and um, share this video. Subscribe if you like this content. And I'm going to see you next week. And don't forget, guys, always keep slamming, slamming it out. Take care. Bye-bye.